We're, We're the, the Valley, Valley Folk. Folk. We, we want to show you the first test episode of our new show. <laughs> we filmed it over the past month. Excuse me, I'm talking. Anyway, we're really excited to hear your thoughts. Episode 2 drops in two weeks. Are we good? Do we get it? Great. Wow, we did it! Yeah, I think you're for sure a Fozzie. You're like a Fozzie with a little bit of an. Oh animal. my god, are you Gonzo? Uh, could I be Gonzo? I think you could totally be Gonzo. Oh, yeah, that's totally like fair. Weird, weird. I think said, Elliot's Sam Eagle. Whoa. He's sarcastic, he's funny. Super patriotic. Dry. Yeah, super patriotic and dry. Republican. Not everyone's favorite. Guys! What? I did it! What? I discovered the secret chord. Ooh! Ooh. Play it! There's a catch. What? Legend says if you hear the secret chord, you'll reveal your deepest desire. Ooh! Play it! All right. I want to be a dancer. I want to be a dancer. Chippa, 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 ooh! Chippa, 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 chippa. I want to be a dancer. All right, huh? Here's the couch. I was back here the whole time. That's crazy, Joe. I can't believe it. Gonna come yeah. up. Nice. Okay. This is very nice. Yeah, it's really nice, right? Yeah, yeah. It's comfy. Comfy. How's the energy? Comfy. Energy good? Energy's good. great. Right. Okay, uh, Joe, hit it. Hey, uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to your, your show. show. This is very exciting, guys. This is the very first episode. It's our test episode, and we are figuring it out with you guys. Uh, it's called Your Show because it's primarily sourced from our wonderful patrons over at patreon.com slash the valley folk. Before we get started, uh, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell notification button. Oh, and uh, be sure to leave a comment down below letting us know what you think of the show, what your favorite part was, what your favorite segment was, whatever it ends up being. Even if we stop now, even if, or even if you stop now, if you stop watching now, still let us know in the comments what from the beginning to now <laughs> yeah. you'd like right. us to change. Right. We're calling it your show because quite frankly, it's your show. We want oh. you to be part of it. We want you to build it. We also really, really want you to watch it, so. Wait, so let's dive into what your show is actually gonna be, okay? okay. It's going to be sketches, news, pop culture, it's gonna be going outside for a little bit, different things all over the map. This is the first time I'm hearing what yeah. this show is. <laughs> You've yeah, never been I'm in the really office. really excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we're going to start every show by going through a few questions slash comments from you lovely folks. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Dylan Smart says, what is a passion that each of you want to get into but are too afraid or unsure to start? Oh. It's a really good question, That's and it's a great a one question. to start I, with. A I actually, yeah, do you know? I do know immediately. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, it's completely singing. Like, I love, oh, I, I'm wow. way too nervous. Yeah. I Dude, want it so bad. Just oh, do karaoke so with us once. I think I figured out what my karaoke song is, you guys. It? It's Creed's My Own Prison. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is. It's a great song from a great oh album. Do you want to sing one Just line of one it line right of it? now? Yes. Uh, Quarters in session. <laughs> Verdict is in. That's a really solid Walter no Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be, it's kind of the same. It's been the same for quite a while. I want to learn to play the piano like legitimately. Oh, yeah, like I want to be able to like get those, tickle them whites and blacks, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you do like a little just mime piano and then sing a little Ben Folds or Elton? Like yeah, sure. Um, She's a brick and I'm <laughs> You know, a lot of people yeah. don't know this, but Brick by Ben Folds 5 is actually about a, a mafia murder. They tied bricks to her and dumped wow. her into the ocean. A lot of people, yeah, he's is tired, that true? He's tired so of answering true. questions about it, but yeah. Wow. Isn't it in the air tonight by Phil Collins about like a, a predator, like a like someone chasing Alien down a woman? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you know that Toto's Africa? It's about Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson's Billie Jean is actually about Billy Joel's jeans. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be an old lady baker that makes like, <laughs> You know that like people down the street are like, oh, we got a Charlie's custard cake. Yeah. Some bread cut cake in the home. And then Scott cake. Stapp lives down the road and, and he like, sings about your pastries. We're good at the pastries. Joe, what's uh, your what's your passion? I think my it's it's twofold. I would, I would love to be a, a guitar axe wielding sure. lead singer of we a rock band, would. just playing arenas. That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. Or even small intimate settings. Oh, that's cute. You're not oh. above just a nice sold out small theater. <laughs> Uh, or an intimate party setting. Yours 100% is kind of similar to the rock band thing, but or you're definitely wanting to be a rapper a little bit. It was a day oh. here at the office where we had a friend in and we 
created a little inside joke. And then hours later, Joe had like a full rap <laughs> written about the inside it joke. It was a Dump Nasty track. It was a Dump yeah. Nasty track, yeah. It, it was, was called it was, uh, uh, China Rich slash Elevator Daddy. Elevator, You'll never elevator hear Daddy. it. <laughs> You'll never hear it. I'm China Rich, bitch, rock bottom, never had me worth always going up because I'm an Elevator Daddy. Looking for your girl? Well, I probably had her in. Shanghai up in my spot when I dropped some Mandarin. So that was our, uh, our the beginning of the show. That's something we're gonna end up doing. It's real fun. Um, kind of like our monologue. Yeah, and in ooh. terms of like, yeah, that was, ooh, that's, exa that's, that's really exactly good. what it is. We should internally <laughs> call it <laughs> No, 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 let's call it a quadologue. Ooh! Quadologue. Everybody. And now it's time Ooh. for this. Welcome to your world today. I am your host, Elliot C. Morgan. And I am a woman. Funny. Here's your news for the day. The top story is me. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. After my show, The Study on SourceFed was canceled, I went on a bit of a spiritual journey. And as I was huffing spray paint under that silver surfer bean in Chicago, I came to an epiphany. No longer am I that misogynistic, alt-right sympathizing womanizer. Bitches hate that. In fact, I am only a union archetype. I am one specific union archetype. Okay, and what kind of archetype is that? The lover. No, thank you. Okay. Scientists are claiming that recent research from the Mars rover Curiosity is a breakthrough in astrobiology, claiming that there was once life on the planet Mars. Still up in the air, though, whether or not they were these adorable space tutus. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> we could <laughs> dig it. Oh. Okay. A new documentary on Netflix, Evil Genius, chronicles the story of the Pizza Bomber, one of the most infamous crimes in American history. The documentary follows Marjorie Deal Armstrong, who concocted an elaborate and sadistic scavenger hunt before creating a custom neck bomb that she wrapped around a pizza delivery man and then forced him to rob a bank. It's a crime I can only describe as pretty cute. President Trump, when asked about the upcoming nuclear summit, said, quote, I don't think I have to prepare very much. Oh good, the last thing you wanna do when you're going to a nuclear summit with Kim Jong-un is be over-prepared. <laughs> you know, I get it, President Trump. You're not like all the other politicians. You don't know things. <laughs> oh, oh, hot take, m'lady. Problem is, that quote was taken out of context by NBC News, or as I like to call them, the National Blah Blah Communist News. Good... It turns out that he actually, it's not good. What he actually said was, I'm very prepared before saying that. So this is just another example of the lying liberal media trying to attack our beloved President Trump. So while your sarcasm is noted, sure. so too must be my patriotism. Sorry, everybody, I happen to love this country, and I happen to love President Trump. I love you, President. President Trump. I love you like Milo Yiannopoulos loves vowels. And where did you read all that about Trump? It was in the NBC News article I was just mentioning. A new Pizzagate-style conspiracy is currently brewing in Arizona after a group of veterans found an elaborate homeless shelter that they believe is tied to a child sex trafficking ring, or as I like to call them, Tuesday nights. Joe! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> he likes kids, too. Oh. Well, it's Morgan, everybody. It's back, oh. ladies and gentlemen. You asked oh, for it. One yeah. person asked for it. Okay, in lighter news, it is summer. And that means it's barbecue season. Here to help us get through it in a healthy way is our favorite celebrity chef, Dude Baguli. Dude Baguli, everybody. <laughs> All right! <laughs> All right, let's get through this quick, because I got to piss. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Take a bite out of your hand real quick. Now don't really bite through it. Just give it a bite. That's right, I just want you to get your mouth juices going. Then take a look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, was it one big decision or several small ones that led you to this moment? Then add a little dollop of Crisco. That's right, I'm talking pan jelly or gut grease. And you got yourself a sauce. I honestly didn't understand any of that, dude. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I am actually really excited that you're here to help us get through a summer barbecue. That's right. It is all about being healthy for the summer. Because you want that winter body looking nice and good. What you're saying is that it doesn't have to all just be salads. No! Why does it always have to be salads when you got soup? By the way, I'm worth $8.5 million, but I'm irrelevant. You know, soup's a delicious and nutritious treat, especially in my world famous butter soup. Okay. Mm. It's just butter. No, it's not just butter. It's also love. Oh, okay. And 
butter. Okay. I'm talking a lot. 35, 40 sticks of butter, melt it down real good till it's liquefied, and Viola Davis, you got yourself some butter soup. <laughs> try it. Yeah, try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> Sip it. Isn't that great? Oh, it is just better. Come on down to Dude Slop Trough and get yourself the latest kids menu item. I'm talking fried wallets, baby. Oh, okay. Have a bite, so baby. Really Have a bite of my wallet. So just a bite. <laughs> and don't forget, you can get six of these for a dollar at Dude Slop Trough. I'm going bankrupt. Oh, by the way, good luck on your dumb show. I don't see what you're doing here at all. Hey, it's like source man, but not as good. <laughs> Uh, to say the least. To say the least. Yeah. Uh, and that does us, does us, and that does it for us here at Your World Today. I am Elliot C. Morgan, and I look forward to encouraging personal responsibility in all those who dislike me, because that shit's on them. And I'm Lee Newton. Be sure to let us know what kind of stories you want to hear about in the comments down below. And as always, I quit. Of course you have to quit. It's a legal thing. You can't get romantically involved with someone you work with. Now yeah, it all makes sense. It's it like, that's why you just way, push back. back. It's just your career. Can, can it be anyone else? Can, like, it's very rare that a woman ascends as quickly as you do in this, on this industry, table. mostly because just you try to keep it down. Just, I don't can think we just need a wallet? <laughs> <laughs>Okay, great. So, uh, of course, these all come from patrons and from our Patreon. Um, and this is from Marissa Williams, who asks, what is the worst job you've ever had? The worst job I ever had, uh, I've had a lot of bad ones, but truly it was being a nanny. Being a nanny? <laughs> yeah, not Ooh. that the, ba hmm. the baby was magical. The worst part about it was that it was like a 4 a.m. wake up. Ooh. Like I had to like be there at 4 a.m. and just like watch the kid. And, yeah, no thank you. And also like, it's not your kid, so you don't love it. <laughs> sure. I did like telemarketing. Basically just like go through a phone book and just call people and be like, hey, do you want to be an actor and uh, <laughs> oh, be in no. movies and stuff. This guy hired like all these like 18 year olds and just like paid us all under the table. And then- and that's uh, how Dawson's Creek was cast. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. When I say being paid under the table, I mean we worked for a full two weeks, and then the day we were supposed to be paid, the business disappeared. Everything was gone. There was just no. like Dude. chairs and empty desks. And I had a thing when it I was crazy. moved Whoa. out here. Yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to get into SAG, and I went to, there was this guy who would give you Taft Hartleys, like for yeah, like a yeah, hundred yeah, bucks yeah. or just something. Just out on the street. Let me explain this. SAG, in order to SAG. get into the Screen Actors Guild, Guild you have to have a certain amount of Taft Hartleys, right. which are basically certificates you get for acting in certain things. Represented by this. 15 pound stones that they give you. It's yep. actually that stone, if you buy it in deep enough, it actually is taffy. You which bit is one. why they call it Taft, Taft Hartley. Actually, that's a common misconception. It's okay. actually called Taft Hartley because a man named Taft Hartley uh, was murdered and his spirit went into a certificate and oh, that wow. certificate became the first ever Taft-Hartley certificate. Oh, well that's also wrong because the, it's actually based on President Taft. He also wow. wanted to be an actor but was murdered. So in being murdered, a knife was plunged into his heart and it was actually first pronounced Taft-Hartbleed. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. The pronunciation actually later changed in the 70s because it became inappropriate for people. Inappropriate for people. I'm a little hungover. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! <sighs> Oh, no, no, no. No, I mean, it's like, I might have shit my pants. Oh, man. This is a small room. No, I'm serious. Like, I'm not even talking about a bad fart. I'm talking about, I might have shit my we pants. We just got this couch. Yeah, man. He just got those pants. We also just got that desk you saw in the previous segment. Oh, wow. Let's see how we got that. Hey guys, we're here in beautiful Southern California to uh, get a desk for our news segment. And um, Lee's out of town, so we thought we as guys would come and uh, learn a little bit about woodworking with our good, <laughs> with our good friend, Aaron Massey, AKA Mr. Fix-It. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Massey. What up, Aaron? Can we get a close up on that smile? That's a handsome man, knows Ooh, what he's doing. Yeah. I'm not lying when I say it's a little heavy. Steve, try lifting. Yeah, Steve, try lifting. You might want to take that off. Try lifting it, so just to see. I'll carry that. Okay, here I go. One, two. Yeah, there's. 
I don't know, guys. I feel like Aaron's doing more work than I am right now. I got it in here somehow, but I can't remember how. Yeah, this is interesting. I think it might have went straight through. Nope, sure didn't. Joe loses you. Steve loses you. I got a fan. Yeah. There's one right there. Yeah, there's a. You feeling that? Aaron's that better? Is this good? Aaron just took the, the door off. Whoa. Like, are we going through the gate, Aaron? Yeah, wherever you want. All right. I'm just going to throw it down the hill. So, grab a hold of that. If you pick up on it or whatever, you know, drop it too low, it'll pinch the blade. What would happen while I'm cutting it if it pinches the blade? Well, I mean, it could potentially kick back and you could cut your arm off or something. So, this is a circular saw. Okay. And why is it called that? Well, I don't know. Probably because I'm assuming because of the shape. Of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm Johnny Steve Zaragoza, and this is not worth what I'm doing. And it was this moment that I realized I had truly become a man. Not when I got like hair on my balls or anything. The other Steve. Yay! Steve, you did it. Yeah, I'm a little. It's a little nerve-wracking when you haven't held a power tool in 20 years. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. And this, this is, is Out Yonder. Yonder. You glue first, think later. That's what I always say. That's what my dad used to say. That's what Steve's dad used to say. Boom! Give it a boom. Yeah! Uh, guys, we did it. Uh, <laughs> we have a table. Uh, so I guess it's time for us to go. Aaron, thank you so much for everything thank you've you, done today. It's so nice to see a finished product. Yeah, too. this is the finished thing. So we'll just come pick it up uh, later, probably. Yeah. yeah. We'll just send someone to come get it and put it in a truck or something. Yeah, but but it's, we're not, it's not really done, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it looks good. Sand. This is just the rough assembly. We've got to sand it. we got to refinish it. Yeah, oh, we're well, done we, today. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're done. Yeah, we we're put done. A good yeah but who's going to do the rest of it? Oh. Uh, you know, uh, do you want to be a part of our sexy man montage? <laughs> We gotta go. We gotta go, guys. <clears throat> uh, next question. Uh, from Bad Ape Gleason. Long ago, I asked a question in the mm. Table Talk days oh. mm, that never got picked, oh. which was, what fetish do you find interesting in theory, but not practice? Also, Steve, do a collaboration with the Childhood Remastered podcast. They need to review The Muppet Show. Okay, well, first of all, that's why we never chose your topic. A lot of times, like, uh, really, like, kind of, like, uncomfortably filthy or potentially, like, disgusting answers, fetish-type questions wouldn't make it through the Table Talk filter. So yeah, that's why you're, that's probably why your Table Talk question never made it through. Um, luckily, we run this show, and uh, we're not concerned what? about any of these questions. We won't answer it, but I will say that you can keep trying. <laughs> Definitely keep trying. I mean, you've had a rub outside the pants with like a hand or a thigh or a butt or something, right? You've had a hammer on your wiener, right? I've had, I've had. You've been dressed in anthropomorphic animal costumes and wanted to freak, right? Huh? Yeah. Once. You've been covered in applesauce and hit by a car, right? <laughs> 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 Guys, come on. Come on. Ah! This was
was your show. Yeah, this was done. your show, it and now we're is. done. It's well, it's is. done though. So yeah, yeah. We're, this we're, episode is done. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's done, but we'll be back, and we we appreciate your patronage, your viewership, everything you do for us. Don't forget to go to that Patreon.com/slash/TheValleyFolk to contribute to this awesomeness. And if if you don't want to, then that's real fucked up. <laughs> Whoa, he keep said it. it. Keep it from bleeping. Keep it and bleep keep it, it, baby. Keep it, baby. Bleep Quasim. It. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed our first episode ever of your show. We're very excited to bring you so much more. It's going to be a fun time. We're all having a great time here on this couch and in this room that Lee lovingly put together. I just can't wait to show you guys what we've got in store. Yeah, yeah very excited. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well and hit that little bell so that it actually notifies you because sometimes it doesn't. And uh, yeah, thanks, guys. We really appreciate you and love you very much. Thank you. Yeah, okay, well, let's get out of here, huh? All right. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now we can do thing. the pooping thing is fine. Right. He it's did, and now we can actually record your show. Yeah, now's the time. Okay. Right? Hey, guys, welcome hey guys. to your show. Hi. <laughs> Scientists are claiming that recent data from the Mars rover Curiosity is actually... <laughs> Take two! Welcome back to your world today. My, don't no, messed it up. Okay, good cut. All right. <laughs> Why? I have a net worth of over 18 million dollars. <laughs> Steve, don't to say ass. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Any funny suggestions, anything? I know you're not really into like comedy, but... I hate comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate jokes. I hate comedy. The idea is that the, char the, idea is that the character is a bad person. Thank you for trying my delicious trash, and if you go to... <laughs> Never been with a woman. Be him. Hey, do you guys validate? You know, that's a drink you don't get from any old regular, but I'm talking about the cows I milk myself. Get out. Late night shit. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, bye. Okay, go. Go. Oh, 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 careful, don't, don't, don't make it. If you spill that. Want a sip of this? No, dude. <laughs>